So last week, um, my kitten, he's um, probably 13 weeks old by now, got out overnight. Um, and the morning, the next morning, when my son found him in the top of a tree, he was scared and in the top of a tree. My son got him out of the tree and the poor kitten was limping, like really, really bad limping. Um, I kind of looked him over. He had a little sore puncture under his arm and something wrong with one of his back legs. So I took him to the vet and of course it was um, two to four thousand dollars for a orthopedic surgeon to either pin the leg or to completely remove the ball part of his femur. Um, he has a fracture right below that uh, ball part of his femur um, across the bone. I guess it's a complete fracture. Um, so the vet said, oh yeah, it's gonna, you know, you're talking two to four thousand um, dollars. The cat will probably never walk the same again ever. So yeah. And I'm like, okay. And what happens if I don't do surgery? He's like, well, the cat will never walk the same again. It's like, okay. Um, animals have been healing themselves for millions of years. So I, uh, I thought, okay, well, we're just gonna take it easy, take care of the kitten, you know, I'm giving him curcumin, which is one of my favorite um, anti-inflammatory healing type things. And um, a couple of Monday, Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday of this week, he was really lethargic. He was just laying in my lap and he was just just sleeping and just not himself. So I texted my girl who does Reiki and said, hey, can you do, can we do Reiki on animals? And she was like, oh, of course, yeah, absolutely. Um, she was moving in the process of moving right then. She's like, I can check to see if, you know, somebody else can do it, but I can't until next week at least. All right, not a problem. So. I um, also had texted my, oh gosh, Mrs. Wenzel, the most amazing woman in my entire life ever. She was my uh, drama teacher in middle school. So from sixth to eighth grade, I, this woman, well, even after that, she was the one person that I could always talk to. And she was always a little on the spiritual side, a little, a little out there compared to, you know, everybody else. So I had texted her and I know she is a um, Reiki master. So I hit her and she's like, oh, absolutely. Yeah, let me, let me, you know, do this. And she wanted to know, you know, who he was and where the, uh, where the problems were. Um, you know, I sent him a picture, I sent her a picture, sent a little video of Savage so that she could, you know, kind of get a feel for the cat. And, um, she did her thing on the kitten like late in the evening and then the next day the kitten was a oh, 180 it was amazing the uh, little puncture wound under his arm um the day he was being you know he was not feeling good and he was lethargic had gotten up to about the size of a marble it was a nice big sore um I was kind of afraid that maybe you know, we had some wood embedded in it or something silly like that. When Mrs. Winslow was done doing her Reiki on him, it's gone. I mean, like gone. Um, the 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 it's got just a tiny little scab, I guess you could say, on the surface, but that marble-sized lump that was in there was gone. Um, and he walks so much better than he was. Now, it still hurts, you can see. He's still limping, but it was such a night and day difference to go from this lethargic little kitten that was just not enjoying his life to the next day when he was back to being a kitten. So, Reiki for animals. 
healing of any kind. The fact that Reiki works, one, Reiki works on animals, two, Reiki works from Houston to Kansas City. Yeah, mind blown, just really. So, y'all have critters that have issues. Look at it as, an, as a very viable alternative to uh, Western medicine. It's amazing, amazing what a difference that kitten realized what he what, what his world was like when uh when she was done so hi mrs winsel say thank you for the reiki i feel much better now i'm much better now you're crazy you're crazy crazy yeah just amazing seriously y'all have to if you haven't done reiki do it I mean, I can tell I'm due for it again. I uh, tend to be an impasse in this world. So um, when things get crazy and people are crazy and there's a lot of anxiety in the world around me and then the people around me, it really, really weighs down on me. And I can feel that again right now. Um, as a matter of fact, I just texted Mrs. Winslow and said, hey, can you work some of your magic on me? Because <laughs> I really could use it. Um, I mean, like I said earlier, I tried to meditate and it was, it was good. It just, right now, I'm not finding, uh, I'm not finding, I guess, the right meditation, the right headspace, the right what? I don't know what. Um, it's just not quite cutting it. So I'm hoping that if I can get myself some outside assistance to help alleviate some of this anxiety that part of it's mine. I'm not gonna lie, I got some pretty big shit going on. But I can tell that there's a lot of anxiety that I'm carrying that is not mine. So it very much, it bothers me even more than it is my, when it is mine, I guess, because there's nothing I can do about it. You know, at least when it's, when it's your own shit, you can deal with it, right? You know, you take action, you can do something. But when it's coming at you from, a, from out there, I am um, still working on it. <laughs> How to deal with that, I'm not gonna lie. I very much uh, could use some advice on this one. Anybody have any great, great meditations, um, processes, rituals, whatever? I would very, very much love some suggestions um, in the comments. I also am still very much wanting to take on and explore methods of healing internally externally um well internally i don't really have any external healing that needs to be done right at the moment it's all up here it's all down here in my gut so i got a lot that i'm dealing with got a lot that i'm needing to to get through and um well i'm quite frankly a little impatient um i mean i'm 44 years old so i'm not getting any younger and i really 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 would love to find that key to happiness that key to how to make this tick and yeah Anyway, Reiki, it's a good start. Good first start. If you haven't done it, try it.